Hello, this is a video recording of a house configurator technology, a prototype that we've developed uh, using PimSync and Autodesk Revit. So we start off with the empty PimSync account, so there's no models loaded here. We've created a configurable 3D model of a of a house, so it's made of, out of groups and those groups can be swapped to different kind of groups to actually reflect the, the choice that's been given to the customer. So we developed a Dynamo script that actually can load the model to the BIM sync. So I'm going to demonstrate it now how it works. So it basically takes all of the groups within the Revit model, converts it into IFC files and uploads it to BIM sync. It takes, takes a while and soon you will be able to see actually models appearing in the BIMSync uh, project. So this, uh, Revit's complaining about particular constraint, we don't care about it. But let's remove the constraint. So it goes through all of the different groups, all of the different options. Uh, that's and it should be done pretty soon. So the script has stopped. So let's see, let's refresh the BIMSync account, see if, if these models actually turn up here. And as you see, just a few seconds ago, all the models actually been loaded to the BIMSync account via its API. So let's let's have a see let's have a look actually if we can see the 3D. So this is a base model. And so all the other models are actually coming up here as well. So once all these models have been loaded we can actually browse them through our custom made web application. This web application looks like that. So the web application essentially just combines all the models. You can swap to three, two story, three story version. You can go to the ground floor and have a look at different layout options. So it's a proof concept. So not much effort's been put actually into how it looks and feels. But besides the loading up, the models to the BIM sync and showing it in the web browser. You can also take the customer choice back to uh, to the Revit. So, so say if, if a customer actually picks a particular layout but wants to extend it, so so goes goes to the house manufacturer and says, "Can can I have bigger windows, for example?" So, what how how can we do it? So we so essentially we developed a different Revit model. So I'm gonna demonstrate. Uh, so, <coughs> and this model we start with empty space. We have actually downloaded a text file with the customer choice, and we can actually create. We can create a new configuration based on the customer choice. So I'm gonna reload the Dynamo and show you how it works. So it's a compiler. It's essentially a compiler. It references in a text file. It actually describes what the customer has chosen in the web browser. And based on the customer choice, we can actually recreate the Revit model. So this is something actually being chosen by the customer. 